Chris. We're live. So, it's your channel, Nick. <laughs> what? It's your channel. You speak first. Yeah. All right, Chris. Well, uh, recap, please. <laughs> recap. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> We found a room. We found an old lady. We beat her up. <laughs> Jamie, I swear to God, you lose more chocolate in the bed. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is, at least it's not in the bed. At this point, I feel like you guys are going to get a chocolate bed. <laughs> to be fair, she's be not actually on the bed. No. She loses it's chocolate in the bed when she's not in the bed. Got it. Pretty much. It's, at, this, at this point, I believe that the... We need a new laws of physics that's called the Jamie phys j j j j j j j the Jamie conundrum. The study of Jamie physics? Yes. He never did find that piece of candy. So anyways, uh, you guys did all of one thing last week in which you beat up the Duke. She's Fel still alive, right? The mm. Lamra. Uh, <laughs> yes. Sars luckily decided to uh, punch her in the face in the last second and knock her cold instead of, you know, take... No, no. If I remember right, Zars beat <laughs> the shit out of her with the back of the axe, <laughs> making it look like you murdered her because she came out of invisibility. Yep. <laughs> instead of punching her, the more blunt and safer option, Zars decided to use an axe. Which also, uh, Camera Board got a facial upgrade to a patch of grass. <laughs> A blow which Nick is still failing in his heart. So anyways, uh, the group is currently standing over the still living body of mm -hmm. the Lamra. Uh, she's out cold. Uh, you know of a staircase out of here. Um, but you've come to the crossroads of you still have no idea what you're doing. Right, so she's out cold. Probably can't answer questions. Probably won't answer questions if she was awake and try to kill us again when she's up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we still have an hour before that boulder disappears. True, but once that boulder disappears, we either have the choice of leaving or taking out the cultist. Borg is very tired. He, he is all, uh, he is out of, uh, rages. He needs a long rest now. But this does not answer her question about what happened to this beaker of Etrial. No. Pointing to Rhea. Rhea. No, and I'll also point out that just because we beat up Thalamra, does not mean we've stopped the whole descent in uh, the whole Baldur's <clears throat> Gate going to Avernus problem that we're currently facing. Yep. What? I thought we were already done. Dang it. Nope. Not necessarily. Shh. Battle kitty. No, too good. We're missing the powerful conduit, which is probably uh, active, similar to. I have no idea what actually some. Metro Guard down there, but uh, something of that scope of power. He. Pretty much, she can direct it, but she can't. But she can't power it herself. So... Yeah, we still need to fix that before someone else replaces her. So, what do you suggest, Plank? Are we staying here, or are we actually leaving? Because we technically don't even know that there's stairs there. I think said there were stairs. Were there stairs? Did she? Yeah. Then I was not paying attention. Trying to beat the crap out of a statue. Yeah, I thought I thought <laughs> Plink was not telling us because Plink was so um, invested in us beating up a statue and ended up she not saying a single thing. She was beating up, but then she just continued watching after she told. And it's like, okay, this is fun now. Yeah. Okay, so then she told, but clearly. Nobody care. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah. Do work. The job's technically not all the way done, 
And even if we were to get out, we'd still probably get in a lot of trouble because, let's face it, Dookie here is a big problem for us. She has a lot of the pull. Just because we accuse her of being a human worshiper doesn't mean anyone will believe us. What? No way. <laughs> Sorry. But look at all the evidence we have. <laughs> Corpses of the demons are gone, and she could always tell them that we planted it on her is the problem. Uh, too bad that that person that ran away um, can't help us. Would have been would have been nice. And chances you mean we might actually go to the police telling them we broke into the place. Kind of be stupid on his part, because then if he led them all down here, they'd see ooh demon worship, woo. But yeah, not our problem. No, the there might be constables the instant we go up, so if we don't necessarily come. Completely, completely keep bad stuff from happening. It's just, it's two nobles against the words of, uh, how should we say, us batshit insane families, people. Well, what are we gonna face it? <laughs> if the same ones are no more screwed. Well, what do you suggest? Because still, we're technically just wait, staying here. Are we discussing this in character or out of character? Uh, as far as I know, Jamie's been in character. Okay, right. never mind then. I was not paying attention. <laughs> Maria points to the wall next to her, by the way. Uh, we're not trapped in here. There is uh, the not-so-secret other door leading out of here. Secret other door? What? What other door? There's another door right there. Yeah, there's just the backside of a wooden door, which more than likely means it's enchanted on the other side. Neat. So we might still be able to do a bit more before they catch us off guard. The problem is us getting a little bit of rest in before we get our our, our foot pushed in. Well, I'll point out that we have her unconscious. She's bound to wake up at some point. Be pissed off. Scream. Oh, yeah, we haven't tied her down yet. The same problem. We haven't tied her down yet. <laughs> She's just lying down on the floor. <laughs> yeah, magic rope. Who has magic rope again? I think Borg. Yeah, I think Borg has the rope. Oh, yeah, I, I might have. Uh... You have the rope of climbing, right? Yeah, I do have rope for climbing. I'm pretty sure I've got regular rope oh, otherwise. Well, well, either way, uh, Bor uh, Borg goes and ties her up in some, some shape or form. Also, I'll point out that the majority of you have some form of rope because the adventure kit usually provides at least 50 feet of it. Not Camera Borg. Oh camera God. Borg's not a character. Camera Borg's a character <laughs> to me! Camera Borg has rope, but it only works for beings like Camera Borg. Therefore, it won't function for the rest of us. Okay, I, I, I can believe it. Okay, so I have one spell left. I could use that to heal somebody just a little bit, but we need. I think I <laughs> we <laughs> we need a long rest. <laughs> we absolutely need a long rest. Problem is, once we leave here, I don't think we'll get back in here easily. So we Can we not barricade the, uh, the doors? We already have, and if we... Can we not hide ourselves in a room? They'll find us eventually. They'll be crawling. Mm. Plus, she'll wake up and start kicking her asses again. We can shut her up, mm -hmm. at least. Depends on how talented she is. Some don't need to speak to cast. 
Not poopy. Orin nods at this. Uh, Orin's gonna put up, uh, gonna use, like, the wall over here as, like, a canvas. And, uh, basically be like, okay, we can, there's, like, two exits, like, basically creates, like, a mock-up of, like, this room, the, the other, like, larger room, this smaller room, and then the fact that there's, like, two exits, one with a a uh, ladder leading to who knows where the other one a door to who knows where and then Shoot. looks back at you guys being like we've got two options point out there's nothing stopping you guys from peeking through the door also Jamie um, didn't you uh, want to check around this room I could just, like, would it hurt? You did say he wants six knowledge of the room. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> would it be maybe like, best for a... one of us to scout both rooms, just see our best options? Orin nods and room. heads towards the... Orin's gonna check out the ladder area. Sounds good. It's what happened to camera board? board? I can't see him anymore! Keep lighting up the areas you've been... Ah, okay. Oh, I'll, I forgot um, to turn on adventure mode, so you guys should be able to see the map properly now. Also, uh, hey. Lisa, uh, how much health do you have, out of here again? Uh, I have seventeen health. Okay, so I'm assuming you're more damaged than Borg right now. Uh, I would say yes. All right. Uh, current. So Borg goes and checks out this door that uh, Rhea says Orin goes to check the ladder, right? Yeah. All right. Um, I probably should roll an investigation on that one too as well. Uh... Also, Jamie rolled a high investigation. Jesus. Uh, Plank, all you see in the room <laughs> is the obsidian altar and the weird flame in the shape of uh, Zariel. I think I broke roll 20. What'd you do? Uh -oh. I can see. <laughs> uh -oh. You can see what? Like everything. everything. Log out, log back in. Quick, like, what you need. We're called 11, 12, 10 are. Um, what's behind the door? Um, Why can't you see well, everything? I don't no. know. <laughs> Oh. Janine, quickly leave. Like crashed. <laughs> One second, let me refresh. Janine, no. Uh, what she? Janine's using hacks. It it crashed, and then when I came back in, it was like, here you can now see everything, and I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> okay, we're good. I think. That is rather weird. Do I roll investigation just to see if the door has yeah, anything good. fishy on it? There is nothing fishy on this side of the door, which would be the trap side. Okay. Well, um... Ah, screw it. Let's go real quick. All right, strength check. Yeah, I'll point out that uh, ladder leads back up to the other map. Why are we strength checking? Because I'm kicking down the door. I have no idea. No! So no, you're, you're supposed to be you're sneakily breaking opening the... it. You don't know what's on the other side. I'll point out, you just said maybe we should try to bear create a room, and then you're breaking a door. <laughs> oh my god. We're dead. I'll point out chest rules aren't applied. Uh Nick has already said the action and done it, so consequences. Yeah. We're doomed. Uh Janine. <sighs> the uh whatever you're trying. The ladder leads up to is a very heavy steel plate. Uh, you cannot move. In Orin's tiny little body. <laughs> well, I mean, you could make a strength check, but... <laughs> Do you need some help? <laughs> Probably. Alright, Borg kicks down the door, breaking the illusion, causing a loud clatter as he does it again. Oh, jeez. Oh, they know we're out now. Oh, this is the. Well, they know something. It's a hallway. 
Yep. So we better get moving because they're about to. We're gonna get swarmed. Well, to be honest, though, it's either it's either this way or the other way, and they would check either or, so it wouldn't matter too much. They would know uh, one way, one of the ways. Orin is unable to lift the plate at all. Mm. Hmm. Out of curiosity, you call down to have someone come help you. All, don't, we can we could plate. use this for our advantage technically, because if we do break it like this, we could technically trick them to think that we went this way. What even is on the other side of the door? <laughs> uh oh, a hallway. I think you realize that you're back in the same sewer system you've been trawling around through. Not this is a. This is a different part of the sewer system, though. It's the same design. It's the same design, but this is a different area of the sewer design. That's on the other True. side of the room. So what's the plan now that uh, Borgs make a, yet another loud noise? Well... I suppose it's either to charge into the room that he just broke down, or if Oron wants to yell for some help, we can try and move the heavy plate. Uh, Oron's gonna come back, because there's no way that Oron's yelling, especially not in these circumstances. <laughs> Even though we just oh, made a loud noise. You're not the loudest thing I hear at this point. Nope. Yeah. I don't think that's even possible. <laughs> even that your highest screeching noise. Eh, Orin could probably top if she if they really really wanted to, but not worth it. Orin comes in and is like like pantomiming that there's like something really really heavy, and then Orin sees the fact that you've kicked in and broken the store. And just kind of stops and stares at Borg. Like, what the fudge did you just do? Wings flutter, oh, anger face. <laughs> yeah, there's like, like, clearly, like, disgruntled, upset. Bor Borg, Borg has a plan. All right, Borg, what's plan? Because you guys have uh, not that much time to act at this point. So clearly, uh, Oren says uh, there's a heavy thing. So we're going to go to the heavy thing and lift up, help Oren lift up the door while also <laughs> trying to trick the people, thinking that we went down these sewerways. I will still point out Plink said it. You guys leave, you may not be able to come back. And if we leave, we may be SOL. Well, we don't know. Because we don't know exactly what's up beyond that door, technically. No, but if we leave, we pretty much have nothing to prove that there's demon activity out here. Because she sure as hell is not gonna let anyone down here to prove it. Mm. Well, would it be better to capture one of the cultists that we kill? <laughs> Orin, give me a uh, intellect check, real fast. Tell a what? Just straight intelligence. Yeah. Are you getting a one plus one? I uh, think it has to do with the fact that I'm a bard, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bardic knowledge. Uh, bardic knowledge. Bardic inspiration. I've got jack of all trade. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess that would work. Uh, plus one intelligence. Uh, you're more than likely, uh, thinking that wherever that ladder leads, it's probably still within the, uh, Van Thamper Manor. It's just a different it, area. Yeah, do we, do we need to stay in the sewers? Out of, this is me asking out of character. 
Well, I figure the sewers is where the, I mean, the you let cultist Amarok, is. You let Amric run away. Yeah. You know <laughs> where he is. You remember there were guards up top, at least. You assume he knows the two exits. The one you came down and the one you're trying to ac access. Unless mm -hmm. it's the gents are healed report us to the club saying we invaded the manor and were just in the wine cellar and attacked his mother. They could easily deny all uh, demon worshipping because they are that high up and no one would believe us without proof positive. So and basically we want to stay down here. I mean, uh, besides some bars, there's really nothing stopping you from fleeing into the sewers. Right. And what are bars to Borg? Who insists on breaking every door? <laughs> what? You've broken um, every door on your way here. <laughs> yeah, so. Warren is really quickly going to make sure that the tapestry is like cover that the door leading to that little hallway is like closed and cover it again with the tapestry like it's undisturbed. Yep. Do and it. then coming back in here, closing the door behind them. As best you can. Yeah, but they're broken. Oh fudge right. It is broken. You got you that one it was not my fault. You asked Bor to break that. I need to get the men's spell. That's the real spell I need to grab. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Why aren't we? Uh Maybe. can prestidigitate at least make it look a little less broken? No. It doesn't fix the problem. I'm not saying that it would stop it from being broken. It'll just make it yeah. look less broken. You're still <laughs> missing the part where the illusion's been mend. broken because the door's been broken. Jamie oh, you can got mend. mend? I got mend. I can fix. You can fix the door, but you can't fix the spell that was on yeah. the door. It's a spell is No, that's fine. I do not have any illusion spells, unfortunately. I do, but mine only lasts for ten minutes, so... Quick question. Mm, I see. Do I roll invest? Is there investigation that I can do down here? Because I'm si I'm the only one in the hallway. I'm looking down all the ways. Perception. Perception. I was about to write, type in persuasion. Are you looking? What are you looking for? I'm looking for. Is there any like uh, doors we can go around in the, any of the hallways we can see? There's. Something down here. Bor, quick! I quickly say, um, you might see something down the hall, and I'm gonna go quickly check. Oh God! Okay. Um. Rand's gonna go way. with you, uh, you. just because you've thus far proven to have some problems. Yeah. Um. What, what we're doing is we're taking the tapestry on That's this better. wall. Okay. And moving it over to this wall. Would that be possible? Okay. We're just gonna we're, we're just gonna cover up the door. We're just you know. Is there anyone oh. down this hallway? I hope that is. Or is it it's like I cannot see them yet unless I roll something? Perception yet again. Yeah. You're in the clear so far. Alright. Borg sees a door and this time actually tries to open it. Or actually, first, first off, I would say, for, before before I go, um, investigation, just in case it it's uh, suspicious. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Oren and I assume Plank helping you uh, end up moving the tapestry over mm -hmm. uh, using the men's spell to help you out. It's a good temporary thing. How long? It takes 10 minutes to mend something? Oh, uh, mending? That doesn't take long at all, actually. Uh... Instantaneous casting time one minute technically, but the duration is instantaneous. Okay, so you have to cast it for one minute. <clears throat> so with the help of Orin and Plink, well, the tapestry doesn't technically touch the ground. You put it in, <laughs> and you don't want it to be too suspicious. Uh, it at least covers the fact that there is a broken door on the other side. <laughs> A fixed door. It's fixed now. It's almost um, fixed. It's going to take a minute if I don't get interrupted. You have to pull out the tapestry, fix the tapestry, fix the metal things holding the tapestry up, 
and mend it all over here to the wall. That's how that worked. And it can't okay. physically repair the magical item construct, and it cannot restore magic to an item. That's fine. So but everything can, else, yay. Yeah. She can fix the door, but she cannot fix the incantation that was on the door. Yeah. Pretty much. And it's actually a potent spell. There is no technical lock on these doors still. Because they were originally magical, not meant to be found. Uh, Borg. You come across a very intricate door. Uh, obviously locked, as there's a giant lock in the middle of the door. Uh, and you don't currently have a key. Can I First rip it silently? Door. Can I rip it silently? <laughs> You do not possess that fine detailed motor function. Dang it. <laughs> Borg is forgetting important details. What? Borg is forgetting important details and it's making me sad. Is it brass knucks? <laughs> you want me to punch a door again? <laughs> no, you're a very important person. Fake pal face palming and test your prize. Oh, okay. Oren, get him over here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh oh, so it's Zaurus, right? <laughs> Respawning intensifies. Zaurus, <laughs> what are you doing with the? At this point, they left. Uh, the Duke in your care. All right, Question all right. Is, is am I following them or am I? Oh, I told I told everyone to stay <laughs> yeah. stay over there for a brief moment just so we can check out a, a door. Um. Okay. Well, uh, I'm I... making sure she's tied up, and then I guess I sit on her and, uh... Um... Wait. As you sit on her, uh, you get the general sense that something seems kind of lumpy in her pocket. Uh, I search through her pocket and pull it out. <laughs> Good job. That you sounds found... wrong. <laughs> you found a set of keys. That... Well, Borg doesn't know one, what to do. One a lot fancier than the other key. Borg doesn't know what to do, so he just like, mm, he's like realizes that there's a plink. Tells uh, Rhea, uh, hey, is Orin over here? You called for Orin. Yeah. Did you? No, I was wild. doing it. Uh, I was doing it as a joke. <laughs> okay. I. Uh, Zaris yells down to the rest of the party. Being like, hey guys, I found some keys. Yell down in Don't the hallway or you for. yell down to the just them? Charles's voice echoes through the halls. Oh, we are so good. <laughs> people! It's a thing and that's coming from the clink. <laughs> <laughs> like the clink clink right. And I thought oh I God. was going to be making the most noise. Well, you did make the whole door. Yeah, but we're in a clear. Fall apart. Uh, okay, uh, how do we drag this lady? Uh, seriously, how do we drag this lady? Bork, um... I was gonna say, just... Zaris can just carry her. Please she and thank you, I heavy. can't, I'm a limp. <clears throat> Bork quickly signals uh, everyone to get over here. Asks everyone. Zaris picks up the tied-up lady. <laughs> Sounds good. The tied-up lady is a problem. And, be over there. Yeah, and, be and because where am I going? There, I'm sorry. Over where we are. Oh, what? Well, oh. hold on. Roll twenty wigged out on me for a second. It's it. Roll twenty is lagging tonight. Yeah. Wig out. Wig out. Wig out. Wig out. Oh, um. Are you, you seeing what you need, so? that your uh, pointed out? Yes, ex uh, except I think I'm on a different layer. Can you refresh the page? Oh, no, I'm not. Uh, here, hold on. So, okay, basically, Chris, don't try to move everyone around. Otherwise, you might have a problem. <laughs> I don't know why. I say you've moved us before. Yeah, but I think World 20 is currently having problems. And it's just a today thing. Probably. Okay, so... Um... 
I see we're now in the sewers. I can uh I can still see into the other rooms though, but they're dark. What? She can yeah. see like the other one? places like as we visit as we visited them before. Yeah, it's a bunch of No, but like these rooms. Mm -hmm. I oh. they're dark, but I can see them. That's weird. I can't see. I can't see anything. So as long as I can't see anything, no one's spoiled on my screen. Do you want me to try and refresh again? Are you talking about this space and this space? No. Uh, I think that I can't see. You're just specifically like, doing this space right here. And that, yeah, that. these spaces. Because for some reason, yeah, you got... I don't know. I can just do it. I didn't... So when I control left or yeah, control L... You can't see everything except for, for some reason, my dynamic lighting's screwed up. Ah, roll 20. We love you. It was... Yeah. Mm. I don't know. You can turn it off. Yeah. Does that fix anything? Oh, yeah, now I can't see. All I see <laughs> is the walkway. My guess is somehow your character accidentally entered areas without uh, me knowing about it. I don't know. Uh, I did not move my character. Because <laughs> we saw the whole map for a second, so it just registered that as... Explored space. Yep. Yeah. Especially since uh, that we're all connected to camera board. I don't know. Uh, I turned it off, so now we don't have to worry about it. I know where you've come from, at least. Anyways, uh, Cyrus has a key that looks like it would match the door, at least. Uh, I, uh, Bork signals Cyrus to go towards the door with the key as he takes the lady. You take the lady from me? Yep. <laughs> okay, Zaris uh, goes on over and just starts trying keys. There's only two keys, and one of them... This is the obvious fit. Zara starts trying keys. <laughs> All right, Zara tries the uh, cheaper looking key, which I, doesn't even attempt to fit into the lock first. It's a bird key. Zara, who has no concept of worth, uh, is like, well, this is a pointless key. Exactly. <laughs> and then inserts the fancy looking key. Uh, we're just going to assume for benefit of the doubt, Saris does it wrong, and then flips it <laughs> open. It works. Well, you unlock the door. Do we open the door? Uh, sure. I open the door. <laughs> creak. I mean, creak. It's giant vault door. Go. <laughs> Bap. This hmm. probably isn't a surprise to anybody because who's seen the map already. I I'm surprised. Who the heck is that? I don't know, Borg, you can't see anything. You're standing here. Oh, wait. Move camera Borg. Give me a second. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Zaris, you uh don't fail me now. Uh <laughs> <clears throat> you peer into the room. Which contains four wooden tables with two small wooden coffers atop each one. Hanging on the wall opposite the door is a beautiful golden shield. Standing in front of the shield is an old man in plain garments carrying a lit candlestick. As he turns to face the door, you see that his shadow on the far wall doesn't match his form, but appears to be the shadow of a pudgy horned fiend with small wings. Oh, God. I turn around and go, uh, does anyone else want to deal with the demons? <laughs> I'm kind of kind of done with demons. It's like, Borg <laughs> just looks at you and it's like, what? I just imagine Zara's almost like closing the door again. <laughs> <laughs> Zara's just has a put upon face, just being like, ugh, not again. Not again. <laughs> Do we have to roll for initiative now? Uh, I don't know. What does Zaris want to do this time? Punching things, but also very 
put out about being demons, peeks oh. back into the room I heard, and goes, hey. What, I, heard punch, what I heard punching things only. Oh. Uh, well, Zaris enjoys punching things, but very put out about all the demons that have been around recently. Uh, pokes his head in the room and goes, hey, you demon over there. <laughs> Can we just pretend this didn't happen? Is there anything important in here? Can we just, you know, be on our way? <laughs> Brennan Zara is also if, looking like a Zara's demon. Like to use persuasion yeah. on this, I want to give, I want to do the help action. <laughs> Can we just do persuasion? Uh, the man uh, looks a bit taken aback at uh, that statement. It's like, are you not here to save me? Sars looks at him, glances at the wall where the weird shadow thing was, and goes, Are you not a demon? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Do we have to revo do we have to roll something to uh I, can, to I was gonna say, can I that roll to see if he's inside. lying? That would be Is that inside. Okay, I'm rolling to see if he's lying to me. Can't Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Zarius is like, All right. it's, Zarius is like, you son of a bitch, I'm in. <laughs> no matter what the hell is going on. Zarius is like, oh, another Zar another hostage, huh? Zarius turns around and goes, oh guys, there's another hostage in here. Can we just appreciate the idea that this is that this sounds more like a thing where Zarius goes like, is he lying to me? Do I care enough to like, <laughs> try to figure this Zarus. out? Just Zarus, take it's like, Zarus, like, am I lying to myself? Right now? <laughs> Zarus doesn't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> this is gonna. I'm, uh, I'm Rayo a... pushes past you guys after hearing the voice. Uh, realizing who this person is, uh, as she kneels in front of him. Uh, you guys have found Thavius Krieg, the, uh, cannot remember his proper name, the Lord of Etelgard. Can't, uh, do, uh, Bork says we gotta hurry. Can I check her shadow to make sure she's not a demon, too? <laughs> okay, something is really sketchy, I'm not sure why, but... I mean, all of you can roll insight. You all heard him speak. Oh, yeah, true, I, I mean... can roll insight. Yeah, ours is already, um... I wanted to trust Zaris. <laughs> you don't have to roll, Janine. You don't have to roll. No, I'm I'm rolling for her, not for him. I am trusting Zaris. Well, <laughs> Zaris is not under a spell. Uh, Zaris's brain is doing smoke clouds, <laughs> trying to figure out why everything seems right with what he says. I heard uh, old man. Borg. <laughs> Borg's absolutely like. All right. Well, I don't think he's a hostage right now, considering the door he's locked behind. Mm hmm. Borg is very suspicious. Tells the others about his suspicion about the old man voice because he clearly can't even see anything. Borg, the Zaris gambling man, like, knows no, what a vault door looks like. <laughs> what? I didn't hear that. What? Borg, the gambling man, knows what a vault door looks like and wonders why you'd hide a prisoner in a vault. I am very suspicious, sus about this man. Not saying that I don't believe Ra what Rhea said. Especially since that she's been helping us, but the fact of the matter is just the whole. This thing feels a little suspicious. Sars okay, is uh, just like, no, it's fine. Clink, Clink doesn't know really what to think, besides the fact that Zars uh, was definitely at first convinced there was a devil, and now is like, I'm gonna follow this man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he has candy. His shadow is definitely scary. <laughs> Remember, guys, know, Zaris uh, does not know <laughs> any kind of, like, because skills. Because Zaris did mention sketch shadow things. Zaris grew very sheltered, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's still there. Also, my... Okay, I'm gonna just kind of... What the hell is going on with this shadow? Uh, the shadow's not... The sketch shadow is sketch, maybe, not him. Because that's a sketch shadow. Are they, do I have to roll a like a 
a perception check just in case if anyone's coming down the hallway. Still. I don't know yes. what to. All right. I don't know what to roll. Uh, is that Arcana? Is that just religion? Ar what the shadow? Uh, Rhea's. Everything she's done and said has not seemed out of character for as much as you know about her. And oh, she no. hasn't stabbed you in the back as many chances as there would have been. <laughs> she also saved us from that large duke fight, that's for sure. Uh, what do, okay, what do I roll on a shadow? Like investigation, perception? Religion. Religion. Do I have I have religion. Whoa, I have religion, okay. <laughs> you have religion? Oh god. Oh, oh dang. Ooh. Damn. Okay. Yeah, religion. <laughs> she believes. Clearly. <laughs> so, as Plink might be aware, Thavius Krieg is the high overseer of Edelgard. He should be a paladin. The fact that his shadow seems to emphasize something of demonic presence is absolutely the last thing you would expect out of a holy man in charge of the holy realm of Edelgard. Is there anyone coming down the, um... Uh, guys? Sure I get away from him. Something's not cool. I... I grew up in a trail and I know for a certain this guy's a paladin, but if his shadow's demonic, there's problems. Rhea doesn't seem all that convinced. Who? Neither does Zaris. <laughs> what, well, you say Rhea and do who? Do do Rhea doesn't seem all that convinced about Plink's uh, attempt to slander Thaddeus. I am not slandering Thaddeus. I say something's wrong with Thaddeus. How could you like say that about Like he's possessed? Him? Could be. This is a good man. Can I, can I'm not saying he's not a good man. I'm saying something seriously wrong has happened to him. Can we just can attack the shadow and be done with this? Do you want <laughs> persuasion? Yes, you can roll persuasion. What are you persuading, by the way? That uh, something m might be wrong with him. Not necessarily that he is wrong. That uh, something might be wrong with him as in like an ailment of some kind. Who are you trying to persuade? Rhea. Yeah. Mm. She doesn't seem all that convinced about your argument. We gotta have to find something soon. Otherwise, we, we're gonna be you know cornered. Budgeon, uh... I don't have anything that could possibly deal with this. As a Orin is going to... I'm gonna roll for persuasion, and Oren is gonna be like, like, basically just trying to instill the feeling in Rhea that something is suspicious about the fact that this dude is here saying what he's saying, like, when he should have been in his city. Yep. Yeah. And why is he? Yeah. Why is he even locked up? Yeah. Right. Like, there's just something's weird. Something suspicious. Facts and logic. Uh, Oren, as you chime and tingle your way into Rhea's heart, uh, Rhea's eyes begin to dawn as she gets the general idea that, uh, the Thavius Krieg she had believed in and worshipped would not have abandoned his people to whatever damned fate they would have been, and certainly would not be here of all places. Uh, Brea turns on her lord, uh, demanding him to show her some form of evidence uh, that he is Thavius Krieg. Uh, anything to do with spellcasting and such, which Thavius backs down from, which is something a paladin would not be that hard pressed to do. So it confirms that this is not the Thaddeus or whatever. Oh no. As far as you know, it's him. Well, we're gonna there need is to... the very least wrong with him. 
Can we just pu can, can we punch the shadow? Can, can we punch the shadow? Can we punch the shadow? Oh my god, Nick! Can we stop you? I'm, I, I that's what this is always boiled down to. I'm just asking. I could, this is not me in character, by the way. This is just me. I'm Borg's currently watching the hallway, listening to you guys, because we're we're about to get surrounded. What do we? What do you guys want to do with Fabius? He's currently He's trapped in the room. Cool. He doesn't look too willing to put up a fight. Uh, he's currently wearing no armor and is equipped with nothing. But how how do we stop a shadow? What what how, how do we get rid of a shadow? Because I don't have anything that could remove curses and whatnot. Uh... Is there any way that any of us knows how to get rid of a demon shadow? Uh, I could cast Identify, but that takes either my last spell spot or a minute. Oh, I should point out, because you rolled a 20, that is not a devil in his shadow, that's his shadow. Oh, oh, that's not... As being a disgraced paladin. Wait, what does that mean? He's, he, oh. it, his shadow shows his, betrays his guilt. Basically, oh. he's not a demon. He just went against his own teachings and therefore lost the. Oh, so whatever. he's not a demon. So it, he, he... it's a brand of basically basically heretical action. Yeah. Uh, so he can always be. It's always known that he's done something wrong. Okay, so it it's so he is this he is the person that uh she says he is, but he is a traitor. Got it. He betrayed his god. Yep. Yeah. He betrayed his god. He betrayed his people. He betrayed the literal city, which is now in the hells, from what we've understood. Oh, I thought there... I just I just thought that he was being possessed by a demon or something. No, as far as you know, this is the broken, shattered man that was once Thavius Krieg, who, for some it? reason, is seemed to have been talking to a shield. Um, Orin decides that we should just pile everyone into the room because we don't know when the other cultists are going to show up in the hallway again. That's a fair argument. So Orin's going to slowly start, like, Borg agrees. like Bo Bo moving people in, like, tr oh, trying you, to get... You, you don't have to convince Bor. Bor was already going to go in with you guys. Right. Borg will just sit by the door and close it. At least we're gonna be like, just, like we're gonna we're gonna take <laughs> and then close that. the door and if there's a lock on this side we're gonna lock it uh yeah. that's not how that works but the door is relock but you guys can open it from the inside all right so i basically just meant that people from the outside would have to like pick the lock or have a key to get in good luck well borg just keeps watch on the door he stands guard as he puts down the mm -hmm. R and Y, Dutch. He put he puts down the Dutch next to him. But also, like, do we have anything to cover her mouth just in case? I'm pretty. Oh, yeah, I've got exactly. a tablecloth and I can just motion to her mouth. So a Borg and cuts a bunch of crap. Borg asks, "Can someone cover her mouth because we don't want her to scream?" Yeah. Orin just puts fabric into mouth. Okay, awesome. Basically creates a gag. <laughs> well, now that you've successfully found and gagged Thal Thalimera, Thavius, who shows no will to fight, and Rhea, who looks a bit broken over being betrayed by the once proud leader, just all kind of look at you. And then he looks up to the shield. You guys, uh, what, what's the plan here? I vote for long rest. I vote that we tie up Thavius just in case, and then we take a long rest. I vote we ask Thavius how he even got in here in the first place. How I got in where 
like, how did you get here? Why did they kidnap you? Or what's going on? Oh, that's a long story. Well, make it quick. We might not have a long time. Give us the TLDR I, version. There's, there's no quick version of the story. I mean, we ha if we're going to take a long rest, uh, he has all the time to tell us. Well, a long rest is like eight hours. Do we have that amount of time? Do you? I don't think we do. Do we have enough time for at least a short rest? I mean, what are you expecting to happen? I don't know. Then to try and break down the door. They'd have to figure out which door. Yep. Mm. Well, They'd also have to figure out where you guys went. Yep. Look at it this way. You have Thalamera and Thavius. You're not really sure if they know where you are, so... What do you think is going to happen? We can always put one person on guard. Just rotate shifts just in case. Yeah. Because I think we need a long rest. I would hope you'd put one person on guard because <laughs> of the two people. <laughs> two of us are currently <laughs> dying. <laughs> yeah, minor details. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. just a flesh wound as ours is still bleeding from the chest. Let's do a long rest. Long rests are minimum eight hours, right? Yeah. So each one of us takes a shift, so each one of us takes a two hour shift. Okay. I'm guessing Borg goes first. Borg gets fine staying first for now. He's already at the door. Right. Who wants to take a second? I could take a thing after him. Okay. Saris, do you want to go last or or second to last? Saris can go last. You also, huh. like, during this time, you guys can also question him if you want to tell him the story. Yes. Right, we just want to be too active. Mm -hmm. Or we'll just mainly pay attention to the door without listening to the story, because for now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Thavius, I'm not going to go in total depth of what happened. Uh, but you Thavius want to spend the next eight hours explaining how, like, everything that's been happening? Oh, we're going to have an eight-hour movie? We'll, Sweet. We'll fill in the blanks you guys have missed so far. So Thavius Krieg tells you of the story of Etrogard, uh, how the Guardian is not the divine... Uh, blessing of gods that uh, the people in city seemed to th thought it was. But a foul trick by Zariel uh, who brought the guardian into the city uh, with one day using it to sink the entire city and its people into the depths of uh, the first of the nine hells where Zariel reigns. Okay. Uh, Thavius Krieg was well aware of this and had originally planned to attempt to stop said ritual, but ultimately he found no reason to, considering the power of the Guardian during its time period that it was active. So instead of stopping it, he ended up working with Sariel thus betraying his god Torm in the end and knowing the exact time that the Guardian would eventually self-detonate and take Etrigard with it, uh, he fled the city in shame to spare his own life and eventually made his way here to Baldur's Gate only to find that uh, the Lamra was very well aware of what was going on and sought a court with him to discuss the plans of uh, increasing Zariel's presence in the world and doing the same to Baldur's Gate. Quick, quick question, Chris. 
Yes. This is the first time that uh, any of our characters know uh, the name Zariel, other than Zaras. No, you all know of the the vines, usually. Uh, okay, got it. Dang it, I can't make a joke then. If you've had some practice with religion, and you've also come across her iconography like a bunch of times already. Dang it, I can't make a joke. Got it. Have you already made that joke about it being Zaras' cousin? Yeah, I, I thought I made that out of character, but I could have made it in oh. character. I can always ask, like, Zaras, is like, are you sure it's not your cousin? Zaras will just give you a deadpan look. <laughs> Anyways, Oren, during the middle of your rest, you are uh, contacted in your sleep by a voice. Well, it isn't clear as to where the voice comes from. Uh, the being that talks to you refers to itself as the Hidden Lord. Uh, claiming to be a... Uh, celestial being of some sort and is asking for your aid in saving the people of and city of Eterel. Uh, Orn goes like, where's your proof that you're uh, this celestial being? It shows you the picture of the golden shield that is hanging on the wall in the room you're in. So he's not crazy. Got it. <laughs> Orin go Orin basically goes, so what? It's a shield. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that information? You could have literally shown me anything in this room and pretended that it was celestial. It shows it's the shield again, this time implying that it is the shield, or at least inside the shield, bound to it. It references uh, that a secret society is after the power the shield possesses and that the evil members will do anything to find it. And the sh shield and the hidden lord do not want its powers used by this secret society. Orn goes, uh... Orin responds with, oh yeah, why the fudge was that dude talking to the shield or talking to you then? Is he one of the ones that it's in this supposed in quotes, secret society? Hey, Ashley. <laughs> Someone's being sassy today. <laughs> Orin's in a mood. It shows the conversation uh, describing that Showing that Thavius was seeking some form of redemption with the Celestial Shield. Run size and I was like, all right, all right. What do you need from us or me? Uh, it shows itself being carried by either Orin or any other party member. Uh, and being taken actively with laughs the... at the image of them <laughs> yeah, it's, the it's shield. rather big on Orin. <laughs> like, like, Orin has a moment of, you think I'm that strong? Because <laughs> during the fact, Orin tried to lift up a metal, like, door. <laughs> In response, Orin, like, like, imagines just, like, a house, like, this small house that's just, like, the size of the shield, like, from the front, that, you know, basically a house made out of a shield, like, made out of these shields, and that orange is fitting in to it perfectly because of, that, like, the size difference. Yep. <laughs> Very true. So, anyways. So, th during this time, could I ask a question who Rhea is? Because... Or just finally now realizes that we have never questioned who Rhea is fully. Fair. Uh, Rhea explains that she is one of the uh, Etrogard Hell Knights who was trained from a young age to fight the forces of Hell by, uh, as she quotes, marching an army of themselves through a portal to Hell. Uh, which 
she and a few others backed out at the last minute and have seen none of the comrades who have left ever since then. So so what you're saying is is that you might be the only one. There were others. The problem being I don't know where they are, but I do know that Baldur's Gate was looking for a few, so they probably got mixed up in the refugees like I did. Hmm. Bart believes you. Believes her. She doesn't seem too happy. About what? Any of it? Well, All she them? would basically betrayed her comrades. She did. I mean, not only did she betray her comrades, she just learned that the leader who trained them all to go to fight hell betrayed them. To hell. Yeah, that too. So basically, <laughs> she she betrayed, but she also got betrayed. Yeah, she's pretty bitter. It's betrayception here. Indeed. And that's why you don't make deals with hell. Well, we can't do much about it. Nope. No. Uh, Orin, after Orin wakes up, Orin is going to do an arcana check on that shield. I don't care how much that Celestial is trying to convince Orin. If we're dealing with, like, demons and stuff like that, they're constantly tricking people. Fair enough. Borg at least just makes, uh, but just, like, just stay, sits there, making sure that Rhea is okay. Aww. Borg cares for someone. Borg has his reasons. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Chris is reading through his stuff. Sorry, give me a second. So how's everyone doing? So what are you trying to figure out, by the way? <laughs> uh... Basically, if there's any, like, actual proof that the shield is, in fact, what the dream was telling me it was. Like, like I'm trying to confirm that inf the information that I was given in a way. But, like, with, like, if there's anything more to it that I can glean from the shield, that'd be great. But, like, otherwise, it's basically just, is this actually what it was telling me it was in my dream? Uh, that's... As far as you can tell, if the shield is celestial, everything about it seems pretty accurate. Uh, beautifully detailed. It depicts a bunch of heavenly figures on the front of it. I also want to make sure that it's not associated with, like, demons or devils. You have no way to tell that with an arcana check. Okay. Would that not be an arcana check? It would be a religion. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. can certainly tell it seems to be a magical vessel holding something inside of it. Cool. Or I'm still suspicious. There's been way too many suspicious things lately. <laughs> Do you tell any of us? Nobody else had the dream but Orin. Nope. As I say, do you tell us about the dream? Or are you just intently looking at this shield for no reason? Because Borg, oh, well, Borg is just sitting Borg there. He looks at the shield for what seems like no reason for a while before Orin like, like goes into their play-by-play -play of like... Uh, like, again... I realize that this is probably not what precedentation was supposed to be used for, but graffiti on the wall again of like of if like it works. Huh? Well, if it works, it works. This is exactly right. what prestidigitation is for. For communicating when you don't speak. Uh I mean the only one person speaks your language, but you do whatever you want to do. 
I can literally speak your guys' language and don't. Yeah, she can speak common. <laughs> That's true, actually, yeah. This is Orin decides to just go with the presentation. Orin just doesn't. Um, and even when when they speak Sylvan, it's very, very rarely. So, That's true. Uh, so they depict on the wall, um, like, themselves sleeping. Um, and then, like, dream bubble. And then voice in the sky uh, with halo and wings and then a question mark like within like question marks um uh and like accompanying this like basically uh Oren's depiction of like this dream that they had that like centers around the 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 shield uh Oren's like playing music musical accompaniment um Basically, Fantasia with less nice graphics. Oh, so it's like all the colors and stuff, but poor quality. Got it. Well, like, it's told through music and pictures, but, like, not... Like, the music's on par with that, but, like, everything else isn't <laughs> quite on par with, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what you get. That's how Orin tells oh, the story of the dream that they had. My god. Which might make it more confusing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's picturing is happening right now. It's just paint being flung and then all of a sudden there's a picture of what you're trying to mean. Yeah. Lord just looks at it, nods in understandment. <laughs> he got he got what you're telling. <laughs> Borg is a model of understanding. <laughs> what Borg has been through this before. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody in this party has been this through this several times, I feel like, at this point. I think this is just the normal way for that Oren like generally communicates with everybody when there's actually time to like talk. Well not just through communication. He understands what you're trying to portray Y'all immediately. Want me to kind of take a peek at this, see if it's sus or not. Is what I'm getting at? Uh, or Nons makes it sound like they tried to tell if it was sus and it seems to check out, but like is all for you checking that out again. Cool. Give me about 20 minutes, we'll be good. I mean, do we oh do we need all of us to check it out? <laughs> the shield? I mean, I'm asking, um, like... Was that in character? Uh, are you asking all of us to check it? In Orin, in, in out of character, I'm asking Janine if her character is uh, asking any of our characters if uh, we uh, if we should check it. Uh, no, Orin isn't asking anyone to like check it. Orin was just responding to Plink saying that, and Orin being like, "Yeah, if you want to go check it, like, yeah, do it." But like, okay, then he's directing that towards like that anybody needs to. Okay. Got it. Um, then Borin does it. seem like does did make a point though that the shield is too heavy for them to carry, or at least way too big. <laughs> well, Bor yeah. could carry, but he's going to be pretty much useless if he's going to carry both a shield and a a woman together. I mean, Cyrus could always carry one. Yeah, we can either switch off which either one depends on who wants to carry what. I. Unless Plink wants to carry something and ride a shield down the <laughs> down the sewers. I was gonna check it out before we touched it. Well, oh, I didn't. So Borg's not touching it. To roll perception checks for each of our shifts. Oh. Oh yeah, we have to roll perception checks, right? Yeah. That I go. Means... I go first. Nice. At least I'm still observant. <laughs> Alright, Jamie, you're up. Okay, I will get back to that part of the page. I swear, if one of us rolls on that one, I'm gonna scream. Don't, <laughs> don't jinx it, Nick. All of a sudden, all the assassins in the universe are inside the room with you guys. <laughs> simultaneously. I didn't realize that Nat one's, uh... Bend in reality. 
<laughs> in in a different world reality, yes. And then all of us barely survive at the end. It's like, well, there goes our long rest. <laughs> Wait, who is next on the shift? Uh... Give me a sec. Uh. Oh, I was going to say, if all of us rolled at 18, it would have been perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I blame you, Nick, for your nat one time. <laughs> hey, that's not on that one, okay? I'm fine. It's fine. <laughs> no, but it's low. It's low, but it's not on that one. <laughs> also, I didn't see a dice roll. Weird. Just know I haven't been very lucky with my dice rolls tonight. First in that one, now a seven. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing, because now I'm finally getting decent rolls. <laughs> uh... Okay. I don't know what you expected to happen, considering you have a door between you and anything dangerous. Well, I don't know if they started pounding on it. Has that ever stopped Borg? That's also true. You all notice, and I'm pointing this out when we got here, the eight chests sitting on the tables, by the way. Oh, there's chests, right. I was wondering what those were. I thought those were tablecloths. Nope, those are eight lootable chests all sitting on the table that you've ignored thus far. Uh, Fabius just sits in the corner looking depressed as hell. You're not entirely sure if you're going to be able to convince him to even leave at this point. Didn't he say that he came to save him? Ask if he came to save him. <laughs> he asked Saris. No, he said that at first. And then you guys were like, listen, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, and we made him Do you guys want to take secret. care of the chests and I'll take care of the depressed guy in the corner? Sure. Right, Therapy! I just kind of suss out the shield? Alright, so, Zar uh, so Zarus and Borg uh, checks out the oh, chest. Oh, Scott. Oh. Alright, I go check out the chest. I check on the right side. Uh, Wait, do we want to have Jamie do her thing first? Since she really did weird. say hers, like, three minutes ago. Okay, well, I mean, Jamie could start first. I will wait. Because there was, like, probably a bunch of magical stuff in here anyway as well. Wait, are you doing the room in general? I thought you were just doing the shield. True, but detect magic kind of goes into a... Detect oh. magic doesn't care. It's a sense. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's not generally directed at one object. But I okay. can let you know... I'll point out, you guys have finished your long rest and should probably apply everything back to full. Oh, okay. Oh, yep. yay! Ugh. Got my rages back, got my heal back. We aren't gonna die instantly with it. I at least have my rages back. I'm back to full health. I can inspire you guys again. I got my little <laughs> heats back, but I lost my temporary HP until I use that, excuse me. <sighs> now I could cast three spells again. I regained the two spells that I used. I... I forgot how much, how careful I am with my spell usage with you guys. <laughs> yeah, I I got my one key point back, and I'm like, oh, I, I could have used more of those. <laughs> Maybe so, but I used all my rages. I needed them back, otherwise I'll be a sponge. Don't I have something that detects magic? The 30 feet, sense magic this way. Uh, and I can learn at school. Oh, I have magic and I, awareness. And I can, uh, well, yeah. Most things I should be able to see through. It's magical, but it's not enchanted magical. Okay, uh, so what type of school, if any? I don't remember the proper name. I think it's still technically the enchantment school, but it's a container. Kind of like a gin's lamp. Neat. So we've been able to do that before. Any other magical doohickeys in the area that are we that I didn't know about before? 
All the chests are magical. None of them are magical, so it's just loot. Okay. Not important at the moment. Now let's try to identify this thing. Oh, wait. Can I? Oh. I think. I'm not sure if I would have a pearl now that I think about it. What? I need a pearl that we're worth at least 100 GP. To figure out what it is? Yeah. Oh, because it's got the price cost, yeah. Yeah. So you. It's uh, not, Chris, it's not are we doing that we had to have bought it, or are you allowing okay. us to spend the money and pretending that we bought it? So, for material purposes, we would have to have you guys find a pearl of 100 gold pieces worth. Okay, so we can't just spend 100 gold pieces and wave our hand and pretend that we bought it at some point? No. And I'm not sure it's consumed or not. It doesn't say it's consumed. So I assume you hold the pearl up kind of like a, um... Because I know we found a bunch of gemstones before, but at the same time, I don't think any of them have pearls physically. Ever. No, I think they were literally like bees. In a, in a um, but because it denotes that monetary value, she does have to have the item specifically. Yeah. For the spell. Well, should we open up these chests and see if there happens to be a pearl inside? <laughs> Blood pearl? <laughs> These are uh decently small chests, by the way. So what 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 are we looking for? A pearl? If we happen to have one. Is there a pearl on the Duchess? No. Wait, do we need a pearl to open these chests or what? No, it, no. Jamie needs it for a spell. Oh, uh, okay. I, well Borg I actually forgot about that component. Okay, well, uh Borg can op uh, open up these chests right over here. I'm just going to read out all the chests because the map doesn't actually specify which one's numbered which. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. So, in the first coffer, which I don't care which one you count as the first, uh, contains 30 electrum ingots. Numbers 2, 3, and 4 each contain 100 gold pieces. Mm -hmm. Number 5 contains two broken pieces of a ceremonial dagger, which depicts... And you guys should know this because you already have some stuff. Uh, the dagger stolen from Tiamat's hoard. Well, it is not magical. Uh, it is currently broken. Ooh. Oh, great. Now we're going to run into these guys again. What was this dagger uh, again? I forget. Most of them remind me. Uh, coffers 6 and 7 contain 100 platinum pieces belonging uh, each. And then platinum coffer pieces? TP. Yeah, that's wow. Is that a lot of money? If I remember it. Coffer uh, 8 contains 20 Azurite gemstones, which are not uh, pearls. No, no pearls. It wants to take what? Well, platinum pieces are more than worth more than gold yeah, pieces. Yeah, that was set out again. Like written da, 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 da. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Cyrus? I thought it was just a pearl. I didn't. I forgot yeah, about that. Discord, why? Stop. No, that's Wait. fine, Jamie. It happens. I can't type. Discord's. <laughs> uh oh. Time, time for him to leave the call, uh -oh. come back in. That's not the problem. Discord, if my friends are messaging Discord and just blowing it up, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Because it's right where my chat text box is. I know who to blame. <laughs> Not me. 30 EP. No. Just I ain't messaging 30. Chris. But I did send Jamie a bunch of duck pics. Yes. No, it's... Oh, uh... This is other friends. <laughs> oh man, it's, Chris has uh, other friends uh, other than know, us. Tyler's group. Wait, which group? Tyler's friends and his brother. Oh. 
Never mind, I'm not a part of that group. No, you're not, but you know of them. Yeah. A platinum piece is... Right. I'm confused. This is this right? I don't remember the value. Some amount of gold equals platinum. Well, what confuses me is the chart I'm looking at and the book say two different things. I say go oh. with the book. Because uh. thir it says 30 electrum ingots, 10 gold piece each. And I'm seeing electrum pieces are worth convert to two gold. Is that right? I thought they can. No, no it, it takes. takes uh... Oh, electrum piece. Yeah, it take it takes two electrum to make one gold piece, and oh. twenty electrum to make one platinum piece. So one gold piece is ten uh, platinum pieces. Does that that did that help with the chart? No, because I'm still saying a gold piece is worth. Oops. Electrum is takes two to make a gold piece. That's because it's a five unit. So what's what? It's a half unit instead of a one tenth unit. So why am I seeing? The difference in the book than this. Yeah. What does? Okay, I can't look in that book because that book is. Afro one contains thirty electron pieces, ten gold piece each. But the rules for currency say an electron piece is uh, equal to two gold pieces. Yes. I don't know. I don't know if that is a mistype. Maybe mis it's supposed to be silver pieces, but Maybe they mistyped. Maybe silver pieces because electrum is not superly used. It's a lot of systems don't even bother using it. They, I don't think I've ever played with them. That's because uh, most of D and D just ignores uh, electrum. It's yeah. like how yeah. like, nobody likes nickel. Well, yeah, I've only ever played with. Normally, the silver pieces and gold, occasionally copper. You know, I'm going to just keep whatever it says and we'll ignore that. <laughs> For some weird reason, Electrum's worth a lot. I don't know why. Anyways, your 200 platinum would technically be 2,000 gold pieces? Yeah. Um, well, because it's a uh, ten gold for one so an electrum is, is fifty copper. Yeah, yeah, but the book, the the descent into Avernus book lists the electrum pieces. Oh, they're ingots. That's why. <laughs> that's yeah. that's that's where I'm getting this weird. It's not the actual. It's not the piece. It's yeah. not the coin. It's ingots. The material. Oh. That's, my, that's my problem. Ah, uh, Jamie, why? <laughs> now you're blocking my text. <laughs> I can do the same. Okay, there. Money. Money. We should probably split that four ways. Uh, Zaris would like to have the dagger, the ceremonial dagger, even though it's broken. <laughs> uh, Jamie could fix that with the mem spell. <gasps> it's Zaris not magical. It could do. 
Cyrus looks to Plink with puppy dog eyes, holding the broken dagger. Plink one just... end in each hand. Plink just stands there blank. <laughs> we'll wait till she comes back. <laughs> Exactly. It's just Plink as a player, just character just stands there not staring at a wall. Not even flinching. <laughs> yeah. So we split each of these money four ways? I would assume. Yeah. So that is five for Azerite gemstones. Uh 50 PPs each. Uh, I don't think we can do the 30. That one's going to take a... Uh, let's see. I, 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 actually, Lissa, what does Zaris do with money in this? Zaris does not take much money. He'll take... How much money does he have right now? He'll take probably like 50 gold pieces. But nothing more. So it'll be like two hundred. That's why I have to ask. <laughs> two hundred fifty gold pieces. Does uh does Oren take uh at least split with the group? Yeah. Okay, so Borg will help split with the group. I don't know about Plink though. Jamie went to the bathroom. Go ask a duck. That will help give us an answer. I mean. So we're dividing the thirty by. Three then. If uh, you want to just put, well, no, it, it, uh, yeah. Right, if you want to put, uh, this is general money into. Uh, the money she doesn't take, you could just put it into a pool for general use. How do we do that? Who carries that? Yeah, that's. <laughs> do we have anybody in this group that would hold on to money? That nope. everybody in this party would trust to hold do, on to money? not look at Borg. I mean, yeah, exactly. Zaris doesn't use money. <laughs> right. Zaris also doesn't needs... understand the worth of money, so would absolutely yeah. throw money I out. I would like, say Plink is probably the best true. bet for wall, uh, for any wallet wallet stuff. Yeah. Probably yeah, true. Zaris doesn't use money, but he also doesn't stay, understand, like, oh, that's a lot of money. <laughs> oh, I probably shouldn't have spent 5,000 gold pieces on a piece of meat. <laughs> what? Be, you mean we'll that's too to, expensive? Or we'll be gambling away some of that money. What? Okay, so do you want me to split up the money into four and then take out Zaris's amount from the fourth group? Well, Zaris did say they'd take like 50 gold pieces. So it'll be like 250 Zaris gold would pieces. Take 50, but so it'd be more, more the platinum pool that becomes the problem. Give it to Plank if you don't trust that. I'll give it to Plank. I mean, you can make, uh, get Plank some uh, plate armor at this point. Plank needs some armor. Well, then Plank just buy armor. Plank needs better armor. Do you know how much of an upgrade plate armor is to everything? Yeah. Uh, probably a lot. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Too bad she can't be a spiky ball armor, so I can't just throw her at enemies at willy nilly. True. That would have been fun. She could always try and add shoulder spikes. That's true. <laughs> Okay, so... She then look like a biker gang member. Anyways. <laughs> We're the Electrum ingots. If we divide that by four, it's 7.5 per person. I'll point out, you have to sell them. We have to sell them? I mean, do you want to carry around ingots the entire time? They're I'll... kind of useless for okay. us, personally. I mean, um, well, actually, Janine, so if we can split that three-way, because Zara's will only take 50 gold, we can just take 10 each. Except Zara's. Okay. Yeah. So none of that's going into the group. So we can split that one at least because they technically they don't have much value outside of just um just remember it's up to you to sell the stuff if you take it. I'll take I'll take ten. Uh we're splitting that then three ways. Uh how much do they weigh? For not that much. Okay, so I will. Well, I'd expect they'd be relatively small. Wow. Um, 
for gold, uh, it's 75 per person. Yep. So that if Zaras takes 50, then that's 25 gold that goes into the into the group. Cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so 75 uh, per person? There's 50 platinum per person, and then 5 Azurei gemstones per person. Mm-hmm. Do we, do we add that to our inventory? Yep. All right. Uh, let's see. Five. Yeah, five Azerite gemstones. So would you take the gemstones? Uh, Zars would probably not take the gemstones. Well, oh, okay. if we do it three, then one of us is going to have to just carry like two of them. Or one of them will be one gemstone short. Why is Lissa make this so hard? I'm sorry. <laughs> Chris, Chris, can you if make you me hand, a... I mean, if you hand it to Zars and be like, "Here, take this," he'll just be like, "Okay." He won't understand why, but he'll be like, "Sure, whatever." Hey, Chris, could you make a yeah, channel on. for me to put what the group stuff is? Is Chris does Chris have that ability in this one? Uh, da bank. <laughs> I would hope so. Da bank. I Jamie gave Chris some powers. It's not on Discord. He's doing a roll twenty. Oh, I'm on Discord. Da but... bank. I mean, okay. It's editable by you. Cool. Uh, on Discord now, I have no powers. Yeah, um, this, this is what happens when we leave Jamie to create a server. It's yeah, fine. I, I can just add this to roll 20. This worked perfectly fine for me. No, that's fine. Hi, Jamie. Mm. Hi, Lisa. How you doing? I am back. Sorry, sorry. It's okay, Jamie. To stop soon. I think. Uh, I know we have to stop soon because Jamie has to open tomorrow. Janine, uh, do we have to stop soon for you as well? Yeah, I stopped to finish up my paper. Yep, we can we can end it here because technically after the long rest we can go straight into actual what we need to do. With that, just figuring out what we need to split money wise. Yep. Making a note of it all. Yep. <sighs> so for the Azurite <laughs> gemstones, what do we? How much do we take each? Five I'm just going to the pool. Okay, so it's like, so each of us takes, uh, so Orin, Plink, and I take five, but you're just going to put in the bank five gemstones. Is that what I'm yep. saying? Okay, got that it. That we need to remember to sell. Got it. And then, so the platinum, you said each of us takes, okay, so it's just, if we're actually splitting it four ways, then that would be. So be 50. platinum, you get fifty. Fifty each. GP, you get seventy-five. Seventy-five each. Got it. Uh, three hundred thirty-nine. I'm too lazy to do the number calculation in my head. Give me a second. Fourteen four four hundred fourteen. I'm rich. Rich, you say. Time to gamble my wife away. Excuse me. Uh. <laughs> I said life. I meant life. Sure he did. <laughs> that one was straight up like a slur. Just like how I slurred in lives with wives. And James got so confused. I bet he would. I think most people would get confused. It was just that... It was just that moment where just, like I said dangerous lives in Australia and then James took that as dangerous wives. <laughs> I have a bad slurring problem. Okay.
So neatly organized right there. Mm-hmm. What is? Oh, they're just looking at what, Eugene, and your work. Oh, yeah. Do you want to sneeze? Who's carrying, just... who's carrying this stuff, by the way? Jamie. Shoot. Okay, Jamie was carrying this stuff, got it. Who took Jamie the shield, the by the way? Oh, the shield. Uh, I mean, Zars can hold the shield if we need to. I mean, I'm assuming Borg is going to carry the Duchess any, any, everywhere we go. I was going to say, yeah, unless Borg won in the shield, then Zars can carry the Duchess. Borg doesn't care, really, what he carries. Okay, well... Uh, if he's going to fight, he's going to have to drop at least the Duchess, but if he carries a shield, then he might be using the shield a little bit if he needs to. Well, I mean, Zaris would have to drop the Duchess as well. Unless we could just throw the Duchess at them. Ah! <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm just saying an if. I'm just saying an if. Does not mean it, it's gonna. Were there any items other than the dagger that Zaris took and other than the money stuff that you listed? That was it. Actually, wait. Does ja can Jamie just fix the dagger right now since he's here? Huh? Is Jamie back? I yep. could mend the dagger. It'd take a minute. Okay. Zyrus walks up to Plink uh, with puppy dog eyes and just holds out the broken dagger one piece in each hand and silently begs you to please fix the dagger. <laughs> <laughs> Borg looks at very confused face. Pretty please. <laughs> Zaris likes sharp objects. I don't know if you've noticed this yet or not. <laughs> no, Borg knows. It's just that the way Zaris is acting, it's just not something that he expected. <laughs> the puppy dog eyes, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, he just looks at you very confused. Hold on, let's see if I can find a... Find something here. Also, do we need to remember anything for next game? Oh, uh, that we're trapped in a room. Forever. What about forever? <laughs> Just remember everything forever about these sessions. I don't remember anything. It's like that's a problem. <laughs> it's like it's like classes. Once the uh, once the classes are done, I forget exactly what happened in them. Yes, Orin can try to convince. Cool. Uh. Obvious to help. If yeah, not, Borg can drag him along yeah, with us. If that doesn't work, Borg can also drag him along with us. Yeah, but if we have to carry one less person, that'd probably be best. Yeah, probably be yeah, best. Yeah, it would be nice not to. It's an emergency case. It's also not like I don't have a 9 in Persuasion. Like... Oh, you have a 9 in Persuasion? Jesus. Yeah. I have a 4 in Persuasion. No, that's Perception. Never mind. is <laughs> still looking dead in his soul. Okay, there you go, Jamie. <laughs> uh, looks up at Orin as Orin attempts to convince him to not uh, be so down. And explains... That if they really want to try and make things right, uh, to leave him be, but they do need to find uh, a puzzle box that he brought along. He's convinced it's somewhere inside the house, not the dungeons, uh, and he does not know the exact location of it at this point. But he but does anything the party needs will be locked inside. But I, but he does know what the puzzle box looks like, right? Sure. None of us. Or it's like, well, you know, you can make amends by helping us. You can help us find that puzzle box. <laughs> Didn't he try to also try to stop this before? He no. Hmm. He didn't do anything. That's true, actually. Yeah, I tried to stop you guys from bullying him. Yeah, he hasn't really done anything to... No, I meant like before, like, try to stop all this. Oh. 
No, uh, he let this all happen. Oh, okay. Yeah, he. That's why his shadow is weird. Mm -hmm. Well, um, well, since he knows what the puzzle box looks like, we we probably it's best for him to come along anyway. I love how you guys are just taking prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe one of them will survive. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think I need to roll persuasion at this point. <laughs> Are you still trying to convince him? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, roll this is out. me being like, this is Orin being like, well, you know, the way to like really start your journey on like, be, like getting back to like being in a better place and like rectifying like the mistakes is to help us find into that puzzle box like you can do it you can you can like be on the good side and like help us at least you can try to make amends with Rhea uh, there is no point his soul is already damned to Zariel uh, and at this point he's betrayed her and there is nothing that anything can do to stop the pain of an ar uh, archdevil and the slap of scorn from his god to bring him out of this. All right. He well, is a broken man who has broken both sides of his code now. Janine, is Orin done convincing? Should I? I can roll again. Up, up Why? To, up to you. Because well, I was gonna. I, mean... I was gonna just drag. I was gonna just... I don't think him. Chris is going to let me. I think Chris is stonewalling me here. If a nat 20 won't even True. Like, yeah. get this guy to move with us. I might have to just start dragging him along with us. <laughs> I'll point out, if you don't understand how social combat works, I need to find the video, but there's a chart that says even a nat 20 will not uh, convince a character who's against you to just straight up be your ally. We're gonna have to do something else for him, right? It it it's the same as saying you walk into a room full of your most hated enemies, like in Batman. Be like, let's all be friends and roll a nat twenty, and then they all just kind of glare at you and shoot you down, anyways. <laughs> I'll still drag him it around. It makes no sense that someone who's been against you this entire time just. But he hasn't. Now that, that not really. Yeah. They might tolerate you, but they they'll tolerate you for about as long as you're in the room. But he's been against you guys in theory. In theory, but he at least knows that he has done wrong now. But he doesn't see a way to write it. Well, in his mind. Well, in order to do that, we might have to just drag him around and show him. <laughs> I will drag that guy around if I have to. <laughs> okay, fine. Then, like, really that, like, ugh. I'm going to roll one more time. And it's just to get him to come with us. It's not even, like, I don't care if I don't manage to convince him out of his depression or out of, like, whatever. It's just, like, like what it sounds like is a pep talk, but it's just to convince him to come with us. So that Borg doesn't have to drag him around. That's all I'm trying to get at, Chris. I'm just trying to get this dude to come with us on his own two feet. I know. I'm well aware of what you're trying to do. <laughs> Look at all those 20s. <laughs> oh, he picks himself up, looks at you. And just kind of goes fine, but I refuse to help you fight anything if it comes to it. That's good enough well, for us. Yes, I'm sure you're to kill me. A teenager in the back of the like in the back of the group that just sighs <laughs> and is annoyed with everything. That's okay. <laughs> you're on your own two feet. <laughs> that 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 isn't that is all we care about. Borg was about to just drag you if you weren't gonna come up. <laughs> he is your prisoner. There's no doubt about that. How many prisoners have we taken in this group? Because <laughs> this is like a third prisoner ever.
<laughs> you know, we're doing pretty good for the fact that, like, we don't get our prisoners killed. So... Um, Janine, did you forget the last time we did the sewers? Well, but he wasn't a prisoner. He wasn't a prisoner. Uh, he was somebody who was safe. He wasn't your prisoner. <laughs> but we were supposed to uh, help him escape. Uh, and then he died. And so, you know. <laughs> then there was the other person I captured. And I just killed him right into the wall. Well, I don't know if we actually captured her. I think no, that was about technically I did capture her. her. I did stop her and everything. Got Nat and everything. Chris was just like, okay. What's funny is she was against you. So she was your prisoner. That was a prisoner, and we just ended up debating that, yeah, this is a bad idea to keep her a prisoner. Okay, it's like, okay, we're just, I just kill her. Execution. Yeah. Straight up execution. All right. We're great at this. How does this roof even function? I've always wondered that. Weirdly enough, uh... better than some of my groups, worse than others. <laughs> so we're a mixture Definitely... of both the best and the worst qualities. Got it. Yep. We've survived so far. <laughs> we aren't dead yet. We're, we're uh, getting at it, but we're not dead yet. Don't sound so sour about it, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> it's because we somehow managed to have a brain in our group. At uh, least a uh, brain. Who is it? I'm not saying it's uh, a very yeah. smart brain. Link's the inte intellect buff. Orin's the charisma buff. Saris is the wisdom buff. <laughs> and Borg is just sitting in a corner with a stick in his ass. <laughs> I'm just buff, okay? Yeah. <laughs> you could just say I'm just buff, not just anything else. <laughs> Listen, you use whatever you want as toilet paper is what I'm getting at. <laughs> hey, I managed to beat the final boss and I managed to deduce the final boss in Jamie's campaign. No one else did that. <laughs> I'm still proud of that moment. Borg is, is an intellectual being when he chooses to. Borg skipped the entire part of the murder mystery, jumped to the last page, and read who did it. <laughs> yeah. Jamie yeah, was so all, awesome. all of that came of that session. <laughs> I just skipped all of Jamie's hard work preparing that session. <laughs> It's like a teacher being like, hey, I, I give an essay, a five-page essay. The teacher only reads the intro and end. That's it. Nick has continued to somehow jump ahead, instantly know something he shouldn't, and just act upon that impulse. Like the hidden door in the it's, wall. It's not even metagaming is the funnier problem. It's just <laughs> Nick's random instinct to do something ends up being the right thing option i am so confused about see this is the i'm the inst instinctual identifies a first level spell but it requires a hundred gold piece item wow i don't know why mm. identify so expensive i don't know i i'm starting to wonder if i wrote it down wrong because all the other first level spells don't require anything nearly that expensive and it didn't yeah. cost much in other games as I say, for a first level, that seems pretty expensive. I yeah, it I'd says be more to like buy a divination ritual on roll twenty. It's listed as a pearl worth at least a hundred gold. Uh, Same as D and D Beyond. It is. It's pretty expensive. I can read. I'm reading it too. That is the most expensive first level spell there is. So what you're saying is, next time we're in this clear and able to go to a shop, we're gonna have to ask for a pearl potentially for a hundred gold. I guess because. Well, good, good thing, good thing you have a platinum coin. You have fifty platinum coins. Yeah, no, I'm just confused as to why it is so expensive. At first level, you wouldn't have an item that costs a hundred gold. I blame Chris. Oh no. So it doesn't consume it. So I guess you just need to have a pearl that's a hundred gold on you all the time. Yeah. Which is good because if we have to keep buying that a pearl, that's not worth. No, I'm just really confused as to. I I can understand maybe a second or third level spell. Yeah, that sounds. 
a first level spell. It was like literally. Yeah. I don't know the prices of spells because Borg does not know spells. Tarsha says no prices. <laughs> Oren does, just does not communicate them. No. <laughs> Though, to be fair, Orin is also from the Fey Realm, so, like, it's a lot of just shiny stuff to them, too, but. Again, Plink being the reason of this group is a bad sign. Yeah, a gnome. Crazy gnome. Crazy gnome. The only logical sounding person in the group. I'm, I'm just really confused. Um, it's from th th 3rd edition, apparently. It's a legacy spell. Okay, I'm used to Pathfinder, and I it didn't cost nearly that much for Pathfinder. I think it's because Identify is super powerful as a spell. But it's not. It actually is. Considering it's a free... It, understand, it's a ritual cast, so it's basically a free spell. Right? It takes 10 minutes, and if you're in a pinch, you can't do that. But you can, yours, you have to be in touch of object. But it lets you, I, as the spell says, identify if it is a magical item, item or imbued with item. Learn its properties and how to use them, which is something you have to do with an attunement, which is a short rest. <sighs> See, if it requires attunement, how many charges it has. You also learn if any of the spells are affecting the items and what they are. So it already detects magic through that aspect. Oh. And if the item was created by a spell, you learn which spell created it. Oh, that's, yeah, that's actually pretty powerful. I didn't know you learned you all of that. You can also use it to touch a creature throughout the casting. So throughout the casting. You learn what spells, if any, are currently affecting it. Ooh, fancy. Fancy, like Gouda Feta. So you could use it on what? basically anything you think is magical. It doesn't consume the pearl, by the way. So you get Which to keep that pearl better. forever. And you can pass the pearl around. Like hot potato. Also, it cast times one minute, so if you have one minute, you probably have ten. Okay, so that's why it costs so much. It's super powerful. It could just make so that, you, yes, it's first level spell, and it's easy to use, but at the same time, it just keep rolling there so that you don't use it super early on. It's a weird... I Yeah, I would argue it probably deserves a space in second level. Uh, it but sounds more like a second level than a first level spell. The whole reason why it's a first level is the balance argument is its cost. <laughs> the cast you. is that pearl. Ow. Are you okay, okay Jamie? Yeah, I'm okay now. My sinuses are inside out now. Oh no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This person, uh, this person on a Reddit thread about. Because apparently there's a Reddit thread about identify spell and the pearl. <laughs> there's somebody oh. who posted on it. It was like, uh, depending on your DM, 100 GP isn't... Oh, okay. I thought they were about to say 100 GP pearl isn't hard to come by. Most adventurers usually have it by the end of the second or third adventure. But it's just 100 GP isn't hard to come by. Which... Really, yeah, just those just means you have to track down a merchant, which Can't you just hard. need to find a jewelry merchant. Hey, which will be easy once we get out of here. Anyways, yeah. We did it. Did we, uh, did we finish? Did you I, guys finish I, figuring out how to split up the stuff? We did. The money? Yeah, yeah it's, there's okay. the bank. Uh, the bank. 
Which Jamie is holding on to. I am holding on to the bank. Yeah, you're holding yeah. on to the bank because you're the best you're the at carrying bank. stuff. And Don't also, worry, I'll, I can keep track of the actual, like, what gets put into the bank, but uh, is it, Plink is, is the one holding on to it and then each, charge it. Is this each or total? Total of what's in the bank. So 50 platinum pieces, 25 gold pieces, and 5 azurite gemstones. Mm -hmm. That's what's in... What, that's what's in the bank. Mm -hmm. Um, If you want to know what we each individually got, I can... Oh, okay, so there's like a common... Yeah, yeah so the the bank just made it easier uh, because Zaris doesn't take money or a okay. lot of money. That's the problem. Is Zaris is miserly. <laughs> yeah. okay. I just get so this. that's why we have the bank. And you're the least likely to either spend it or, yeah, just the least likely to spend it. <laughs> and the Saurus is like, I want shiny. It's like, okay, here's your shiny. Saurus probably won't do that unless he sees a weapon that's, uh, that he very much likes. Okay. But he also made up with his hand back, so who knows. He did get the ceremonial dagger, though. He kept that. And wanted you to fix it, but okay, so that's we, the only thing. Yeah, Plinko takes that, no problem. Uh, so that's gonna bring trouble, but yeah, she still takes it. Uh, so yes. we each got 50 gold pieces and 25 platinum. Or, no, 50 platinum. Yeah. <sighs> I'm awake, guys, I'm sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. we which are worth 300 GP each, but we need to sell them for that. Yep, because currently they're useless. And no. then five the jack term ingots worth are overall each. worth 300 GP with the 30 together. So they're each individually 10 GP. Oh. I didn't say that. That's what it says. It's 30 electrum ingots equals 30 300 GP. That's not what you wrote. That's not what you posted. <clears throat> that was exactly what I posted. You posted 30 Electrum ingots. Parentheses. Or... Yeah, yeah parentheses, parentheses 300, 300 GP. GP. Yep. Yeah, Which so doesn't tell me the... if that's the individual or if that's... Uh, if you look below, there's the 20 Ezerite gemstones, which are 10 gold pieces each. So I did specify when it's each or just all together. So technically, each electrum is worth ten gold pieces each. Okay. We good? Um. For the most part, yeah. Are we gonna. Are we gonna stop for Janine and Jamie? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, because then after this we would be uh, go back to exploring slash fighting looking for that You have to go uh, back chest? up to the manor Yeah puzzle For that, box. that Oh, yeah. puzzle box We know how to get there, we can sneak back there without dying Yeah So you're not sure how you made it over here without going back through the one room Well, we can uh, try it Try to be sneaky. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Good luck. Jamie, oh. Plink has disadvantage on sneak. Yes. Uh oh. Oh, that's why he's all the armor. Problem. That's why Plink was complaining. Like, if uh, I'm sneaky when we're in trouble. Damn, uh, we don't really also, have an assassin to, in our group. Whoever has to kill uh, Thalimra is also at disadvantage for stealth. Oh, uh, yeah. Who? He's not going to make it easy. No. Uh, so we each got six electrum in no uh five in five each. Oh. It's in the Discord chat, Jamie. And I am not messing guys. Ten each. I put it all into the Discord what each of us got. Sorry, six oh. is difficult. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> what happens when you grow up in a monastery I mean, with no? So just decided to like 
sense of yeah, it was money. Ours, their cut, and then we split the rest of it equally. Did you say give Zaris a haircut? <laughs> no. No, do not shift Zaris' hair. <laughs> I need to go. I need to finish that paper. Good night, guys. Uh, good night, Jenny. Good Thank night. you for playing. Yeah, that was fun. All right, now okay. everybody cut Zaris' hair. All right, cool. No. <laughs> what do we roll? What do we roll? A net, um, deception. It's an attack roll. Ah, sweet. I see. What's an attack roll? <laughs> Zara seems to have a whole lot of hair left. <laughs> Do we roll, 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 uh, 20? I don't know. What? I was asking you, do we roll 20 to cut Zara's hair? <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> that would be, that would be technically an attack. Because that is the unwillingly being done. But I mean, it'll be funny. No. That is assault. <laughs> Zars will stab you with his new dagger. Because <laughs> I mean, like you, 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 cut his hair. you, you punched me, but I felt nothing. That's true. But Zars's uh, daggers, um, due to his attunement, are magical. So. You cannot. Uh, Borg doesn't believe in magic. Borg is magic. That that is true. Borg does have his own wild magic. Yeah, I'm kind of confused with your statement there, Nick. I am magical, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the magic. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a interesting mishmash. Of a new group we've got here. Uh, what is is Ray assaulting in the quarter? What is she, what has she been doing? She's also she sulking. needs therapy. She needs. Okay, so she, she probably also needs might need a pep talk. Yeah, she might need Listen, a, a pep talk. You're all gonna need therapy by the end of this. I'll just say <laughs> that. Do we all need... got his therapy. Okay, he's he's golden. Hey, the, all, all the therapy <laughs> I, Borg needs is a good beer or two, and then gambling. On the bright side, Blink finally found out why your your guild had to die. Again, you guys Wait, her guild had to die? Yeah. Oh, She's right. Right, I forgot. <laughs> Everybody dead. Everybody dead. <laughs> I forgot that was your backstory. She's the merch. So does that mean that Plink is the last of her kind in her guild? No. No, some of them were on the edge of town because, let's face it, if things are going to blow up, people don't want you around. There's also people that just probably weren't there either. Probably. Yeah, go on a vacation. <laughs> I forget names. Mia? What? I well, keep on a corner of Mia, but that's not her name. Nina? No. I don't know who you're talking about. Is she in your backstory? Uh, no. A chick who's hanging out with us. Oh, Rhea? Rhea? Oh, Rhea. Rhea? That I don't have an answer to, Jamie. <laughs> She's Rhea now. I don't know the The other guy's name? Oh, Thavius. Thaddeus? Thavius. Jamie, they're on the map. I can't read the map. What's your problem? <laughs> she, I think she needs new glasses, Chris. I can't. It, she has a screen blocking the map, so I can't help her in this scenario. <laughs> How is it that something's blocking her map? Because she has the bank open and it's blocking the square you guys are in. She could close that bank, you know. That's her problem. <laughs> Basically, you're saying you're too lazy to help her right now. I don't know what you want from me next. Summary! Did something just roll? Oh, Jamie just posted a summary. Boulder will be gone from room. 
All right, yeah, it's about the time. Oh no, it, it well no, it about, no. left a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, it was only two hours, and it only had an hour left by the time we left the room. Yeah, so it's been like it's been like gone for seven hours. Long rest had Duke is bound and gagged and cranky. Hey, if we need to make sure she yeah. doesn't struggle, I will knock her out, silly. Which will probably cause her brain damage if we keep going in the sewer any longer. Brain damage is good in this case. Don't we need her for information or we just need her for proof? Do you do? We, uh, oh. I don't know. I don't know, Nick. What do you what do you want to do? I'm just been told we're keeping her alive by Zaris. Technically following Zaris's lead in this case. I mean, here. I was just say, uh, if we can, we should probably have had this discussion during our eight hours of resting in this room about probably. what we want to do with the Duke. Probably. We didn't realize that. This is going to happen to where we're just going to carry around a Duke without realizing it. Just like how we brought her along Rhea without questioning her who she is. We're bad at <laughs> we're bad at like planning out everything. Yeah, we don't have personalities suited to, <laughs> to that kind of just like critical thinking. Where's Ortec? We need him. <laughs> he, he was he was the brains of our group for the most part. I'm far too. <laughs> <laughs> he was like ninety percent of the brains. <laughs> What's funny is that, uh, Plink replaced him as the brain. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but... I... <laughs> but Ortag also had a backbone enough to fight against Borg bullshit. True. And Zars just doesn't care enough. <laughs> Plink also has a few screws loose. Plink lets herself get tossed about. <laughs> Literally she... and figuratively. I mean, technically speaking, she doesn't hate it. <laughs> I, 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 out of all the times that I threw Plink, technically speaking, she didn't hate it. I think I only threw her like three times, I think. I don't remember how often you threw I threw her once you at the final boss twice. at the last sewer. I threw her across the street in order to get to... Well, uh, you threw her at the docks. Yeah, I, I threw her at the docks. I think I threw her one more time, but I don't remember. Problems, hey, Plink said that I, <laughs> Jamie said I can throw Plink whenever I felt like it if, after I asked her a long time ago. Yeah, just pretty much heads up on the bro now. Bye. Well, yeah, ba basically, just like I give her a heads up. It's like, oh, okay, then I guess we're doing this. Yeet. <laughs> when, when, if a Plink ever gets something like spiky armor that I can uh, use to aim at a person, I will actually utilize that. <laughs> but that is up to Jamie whether she gets plink spiky yeah, armor on. Mm -hmm. Until that day comes, currently Jamie is just a giant ball. I came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that just gives me a worse idea, Lissa. Imagining <laughs> um finding another hidden door and we have to get across the way or something like that and then just be like oh uh Borg throw me across and I can go check the wall I have a better idea throws Plinks directly into the wall finds the wall and then Plink just goes bashing through like a wrecking ball oh my god <laughs> right into a bat of enemies it's like she came that like a wrecking ball give Plink some damage probably unless she curls up into her bo uh, ball but that would also still probably give her some damage. It will lessen the damage? No, lessening the damage is when you roll and just like keep rolling once you hit the floor to kind of prolong and slow your momentum. Rolling into a ball, it just protects your head. It doesn't mean you still won't come away with broken bones. True. But Plink is literally a giant ball of armor that she can literally put. She's so tiny that she can put her <laughs> limbs inside her armor, including her head, and literally just a ball of steel at that point. 
Uh, that also depends how flexible the armor is, Nick. <laughs> I don't know how flexible Plink's armor is. That Jamie is very flexible. <laughs> I don't know how flexible Plink is as well. Jamie has not told me her biology. Oh my god. All I know is that Jamie is a giant ball of steel and a little bit of meat inside. Y'all are weird. <laughs> and you just realized this what, now? <laughs> Welcome to this chaotic group after party. I think he realized it before, but he's just reiterating. I know. I think it's more that Chris always knows this, but he questions why he's even he even knows us like this why he's still here yeah <laughs> why am i still here <laughs> i mean technically speaking without uh i was no actually you would have met jamie without us would you i actually don't know how uh would you have met jamie without us it's that gate or would you not i met her at LARP. okay never mind then you would have met jamie uh, uh, outside of us well either way we're a weird group of people that you're stuck with all right it and, is fun. and you have a wife that is chaotically breaks the laws of anything rational yep that sounds like her <laughs> she is gonna she's gonna cause you to just question everything in reality in the next 50 years. <laughs> don't try to Sorry, break guys. reality. Don't don't try to cr break Chris too much, Jamie. That's partly my job too. So you want <laughs> I'm on your back. I'll break your back. Break you first. True actually, if you land on your back, technically you break me first. All right, Chris is, it seems to be tired. Yeah, it's being late. I'm also gonna, gonna I head had out. I to fight the kid. Oh no! Oh, that's nice. It's nice that you open. Is that what you said? No, I said nice Jamie. that 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 Chris had to fight the kid. No, Jamie opens. Jamie has to open. Yes. Yeah, I knew that. Anyway, okay. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yep. Night, guys. Good night, Lissa. Thanks for the games. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Bye, and thank you, Jamie. Good Bye. night. We'll catch you later. Bye. 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 Well, here we go, guys. All right. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to end it off here. Uh, do I have anybody to really raid, or do I just want to end it off? Yeah. 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 I don't usually raid people on, like, uh, my D&D sessions anyway. So I'm probably just gonna end it off here. Anyway. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, it's been a- it was fun. Uh, I hope everyone take care of themselves. I hope everyone rests up and has a great rest of the weekend if they still have the weekend. All right. Anyway, sleep well and stay safe. All right. I'll catch you guys later. See you in another stream. Would it be mine or someone else? As for my ending, of course, I just want to do my quick shout out. That the bot is currently broken. Oh, there they are. Anyway, I'll take care of everyone and have a great night.